around the turn into the straight. There's two and a half furlongs left to go, and Rain Lover has dashed to the front. It's Rain Lover from Fallur going out after him in second placing. They were being followed in by Ariosto coming into the picture, and Bell Home and Star and winding a run down the outside as fans coming into it too, and Galilee is making a mighty effort as they race in towards the furlong post, and Rain Lover has dashed right away from them. It's Rain Lover, six or seven lengths out in front of Fallur. Roland in third placing, followed by fans and Galilee finishing on, but they've got no hope at all, Rain Lover. He's 10, 12 lengths in front, and Rain Lover scores an easy win in the Melbourne Cup. Rain Lover from Fallur. Racing this time, to... Special Girl flew out of the boxes. However, Vane got out better. Near the rail, Special Girl accelerating again. They're followed by Mercury, Natalas, Constant Rhythm, then Brooklyn Maid. In behind them, Lady Cleves, Gaelic Spirit, Ophelia. They're followed by Babylon Prince on second last, Todd Master and Peter Zempire at the tail of the field. The Victorian Vane is burning them off and going to the half mile is nicely clear of Special Girl and they're followed by Del Riado, then the Tallas at the head of the others, Brooklyn made Lady Cleves constant rhythm, then Gaelic Spirit and Todd Master and Peter Zempire last of all, but Vane the leader as they made the run around the turn. Uh, well clear of Special Girl, hard ridden by Moore, then a gap to Del Riado, followed by Natalia Sofinia at the head of the others. Lady Cleaves, the leader Vane in the stretch, under the whip special girl not making much impression, they're followed by Del Riado and Gaelic Spirit finishing on well, but the Victorian Cold Vane has got a shot to bits, safely holding special girl and Del Riado and Peter's Empire flashing home along the rail, but Vane is all too good and Vane in the run of the judge, a big winner second Peter's Empire, third Gaelic Spirit, then Del Riado One century's coasting at the 300 moved to acidity and raced to the lead on the court He's going to get a big break into the straight. He's three lengths in front of Acidity Carnation for me, Fleet Endeavour, and then Cardinal. But Century's going to walk in. He's five in front halfway down the straight. And the Colts going to win by a minute. Carnation for me in second placing, but Century's won so by, by five lengths. Two lengths to Lord Nelson. Third Stormy Seas dropping out Scotch and Dry. They're followed by Hampton's Pride. Gunting coming around them hard. Gay Icarus in trouble. And Grand Scale, but with 500 to go. Sobar looked to be coasting, two lengths out of Sheriff. They're followed by Grand Scale, Guns in Hampton's Pride, Stormy Seas. Into the straight, the three-year-old, three lengths in front, Sobar. From Sheriff, Stormy Seas, the challenger now. Sheriff's gone from Guns in, then Grand Scale at the 200. Sobar a length and a half clear. Stormy Seas and Guns in guns trying. In three for the three... About to tackle them and Longfeller and Guns in have swept to the lead near the turn. They're followed by all shot out, very wide, running on from Old Icon, Torto, Monyafique, Abdul, Gay Icarus. It's Longfellow and Gunsind on the turn together from Monyafique and all shot. Longfellow's gone. It's Gunsind in front with all shot coming at him from Monyafique. Gunsind's under the whip, but he's holding all shot. All shot trying hard, but the great grey Gunsind in front, he's too good. What a champion. The crowd roars and Gunsind and wins Chris the length of the clear at Valentine's. Chris is still a long, long way ahead from Red Rum second, and Crisp over that one, the one after Valentine's from Red Rum in second place. Spanish Steps is third, Hurricane Rock four, Rouge Autumn is five, Proud Tarquin is six, Black Secret is seven, Great Noise is eight, Princess Camilla nine, then the Puka and Lescaga who's still there, Endless Folly, Prophecy and Petruchio's son who are clear as we rejoin John Hammer. Crisp's got three to jump, he's well clear of Red Rum, he's made a bit of crowd, Spanish Steps is third, Hurricane Rock is fourth. Over the third from home, Crisp over safely, Red Ram in second place, then Spanish Steps, Hurricane Rock just passing Spanish Steps, Th then comes Rouge Autumn fifth and they're a long way clear of Pride Tarkin, Black Secret and Lascargo, and as they go across the running road with two to jump, it's Crisp with Red Ram in second place making ground but a very long gap after that to Hurricane Rock, Spanish Steps and Rouge Autumn and back to Pedro Sullivan. And he's conceding one stone nine to his pursuer, Chris. It's Crisp in the lead from Red Rum, but Red Rum still making ground on him. Brown Fletcher on Red Rum, chasing Dick Pickman on Crisp. Crisp still well clear with two fences left to jump in the 1973 National. And this great Australian chaser, Crisp, with 12 stone on his back and 10 stone five on the back of Red Rum, who's chasing him. And they look to have it absolutely to themselves at the second last. And Crisp is over and clear of Red Rum, who's just jumping it. A long way back in third are Spanish Steps and 
Hurricane Rock and Rouge Autumn and then Lascago but coming to the final fence in the National now and it's Chris still going in great style with 12 stories back he jumps it well Red Rum is about 15 lengths behind him as he jumps it and Dick Pittman coming to the elbow now in the National he's got 250 yards to run and Chris just wandering a little off a two line now he's beginning to lose concentration he's been out there on his own for so long and Red Rum is making ground on him still as they come to the line it's a hunt for a longer run now 200 yards now for Chris but Red Rum still closing on him and Chris is getting very tired and Red Rum is pounding after him Red Rum is the one that's finishing the strongest he's going to get up Red Rum is going to win the national and at the line Red Rum has just snatched it from Chris and Red Rum is the winner and Chris is second Les Gargo's just coming up now to be third it's going to be a very near thing for fourth with Spanish steps just being with fourth as he's down go. like a lover's gone swell time hit the front and led by a length on the turn to Taj Rossi tackling at Zambari and here's Glenn Gowan out wide putting in his claim there followed by Craig Wynn and strike again on the turn swell time joined by Taj Rossi two lengths to Zambari uh, Glenn Gowan getting hampered by Zambari it's Taj Rossi and swell time clear two lengths to Zambari and Glenn Gowan off the course Taj Rossi ahead in front swell time coming at it again from Zambari Taj Rossi and swell time stride for stride Taj Rossi ahead with 700 to go Leyland he's been taken to the lead a neck in front of Asgard Wonder Gay Icker is getting through on the fence a length to weak Lua Rama struggling then Lord Metric followed by Broadway hit running on from Pilfer Turf Cutter behind them go fun beaten from Grand Scale Princess Eulogy and like a lover's last Gay Icarus and Leilani sprinted away at the 500. There's six lengths in front of Igloo with Surf Cutter running on from Lord Metric and Broadway hit. Leilani has dashed clear as they straighten for home. Million riding for dear life and Leilani's run three lengths in front of Gay Icarus. Four lengths away, Surf Cutter, Igloo, Broadway hit, Pilfer. But with 150 to go, Leilani three lengths in front. Gay Icarus is weakening and then Surf Cutter. But it's Leilani's Caulfield Cup. The Bonnie Mare is going to win by four lengths. Broadway hit flashing up for second. Turf got a third. A hit away. Well aware the three-year-olds look to have it between them from Better Draw. Surround put her head in front as they straighten from unaware under the whip and then Better Draw. How now and Kiwi can. But Surround the mighty champion is striding right away. And Surround's one of... Swimmer of 77, a pretty level start and towards the outside. Princess Rada and Tan Guy began fast and so did Mistress Anne. And Blazing Saddles is now scooting through in the centre looking for the lead. Pacific Prince hunting right up on the inside side into a good spot and Lloyd Boy is prominent with Montezo. Luscan Star is trapped out fairly deep in the early part. Princess Delaria up there with them and trapped out very wide as King's Frolic as they race through the gap onto the course proper and the northern Philly Mistress Anna booted clear. Led by more than two lengths on blazing saddles. Princess Delaria third then King's Frolic followed by Pacific Prince which got a check and then Luscan Star. Montezo further back with King of the Stars followed by Lloyd Boy Nayasco and then Van Gogh and the long way back, Princess Rada followed by Livon and Red Cat into the straight, 350 to go, Mistress Anna's tackled quickly by Blazing Saddles Blazing Saddles had raced to the lead but here comes Luskin Star Luskin Star, the Newcastle Colt with the Blazing Saddles in one stride Lloyd Boy starting to run on well but Luskin Star shot clear he's a super cold all right, he's making an absolute mess of them, Luskin Star careered away and he's won the slipper by about five lengths to Lloyd Boy for Blazing Saddles with 8.50 to go, top wear a half length to imposing one to Gypsy Kingdom and next to Arbor Shane. Caraman being niggled at from Shivery getting up on the fence and here's Thompson letting go on Dulcify. Then came Ming Dynasty Link, Wired Scored Mormon, Runaway Kid. Imposing took the lead at the school, he moved a half length to top wear. One away is Arbor Shane and Dulcify the outside. Next in the field, Gypsy Kingdom. Oh, Dulcify let go as great for the lead. Shivery's getting off the fence, but Dulcify's going to have a big lead on it. At the 400, Dulcify shot away two and a half lengths imposing. Then Shivery under the whip from Arbor Shane and Gypsy Kingdom. But Dulcify well clear. Prince Thompson going for his fourth stock straight. And he's got it. He's home, Dulcify. He's six lengths in front of Shivery and then Arbor Shane imposing stopping. Dulcify's won by a minute. And that's the way he might win the Melbourne Cup. Dulcify by six lengths to Shivery. Lights on. And they're racing. Turf Ritter on the inside was the first out. Bohemian Grove immediately dropped out of the rear in country with Middleton Sam and Deck the Horse. Getting away fast on the inside is Duckatoon. Headed off now by Manicato. Going forward on the outside of Sivia. 
He's in behind them as Al Brick. A length and a half further back as Turf Ruler on the inside of Silver Bandy as they race over the hill. Two lengths further back as Deck the Halls. A length and a half. Middleton Sam and Bohemian Grove is last. Onto the railway side with about a thousand to go. It's Manicato by a half length. Lascivia a length further back in the box seat as Ducker two and a half lengths away on the outside to Al Brick. Two lengths further back as Turf Ruler over on the inside and they were followed further back in the field by Silver Bounty and are going up three deep on the outside. Bohemian Grove followed by Deck the Halls and Middleton Sam is last of all. 700 metres left to go. Manicato about a neck on Lascivia, a length and a half, Dakatoon on the inside. They're followed by Old Brick and further back is Bohemian Grove, followed by Turf Ruler on the inside of Silver Bounty and further back, Deck the Halls and Middleton Sam last of all. Commencing the run around the home turn, it's still Manicato under a tight rein by a half length Lascivia. They've sprinted away about two lengths to Dakatoon as they straighten up. They're followed by Old Brick, Bohemian Grove and Silver Bounty. But Manicato has kicked away with about 300 metres left to go. It's clear by three lengths to Lascivia. Under the whip next and making some ground as Dakatoon and Turf Ruler is down. On the outside, Manicato was the leader with 100 metres to go. Turf Ruler coming home well down the outside, followed by Lascivia. But Manicato is going to hold the ball at bay, and Manicato wins his third futurity. Manicato was first, Turf Ruler might have been second. A nose to Lasc- two up on the inside, Duckatoon, followed by Lascivia. And there, followed by Silver Bounty, Deck the Halls, followed by Albrecht and Middleton Sam, and Bohemian Grover's run last.